This week on Sealing with the Litzenbergers. It's so frustrating because like it's such a simple problem and I'm like like this far away from making it work. Uh, I don't know. Oh. We're gonna see the Litzenbergers and Tarka. Gabby? I'm very excited. It's gonna be awesome! This is your warning. This video contains content that might not be appropriate for all audiences. Okay, we're up at five in the morning. Or I guess we've been up, it's now 6.20. Trying to get the fuel pump back in and the fuel lines. Uh, Spencer is at a frustration level high. <laughs> Yeah, but we need to get it going early because there's some winds moving in this afternoon that are not ideal, and so we need to get going. We have a 15 mile sail to go to the dock. I'm so goddamn frustrated, it's I unbelievable. I know, I know. I fucking hate this motor. <laughs> What's going on? So, uh, I replaced the fuel line, and then the fuel pump was leaking, so I pulled the fuel pump off, and then I'm installed the new fuel pump and then the old fuel lines went aligned right so I took the old new fuel pump off the secondary filter off I'm trying to get them all aligned um, the new fuel pump is made of aluminum which is shitty so it strips really easy so I installed the fuel line on that first and on the secondary filter and now I'm trying to get the whole fucking enchilada to shove back on the block and the part in the fuel pump that presses up on the cam isn't wanting to mate very well with the new alignment of the fuel lines and mostly I'm just pissed off Full encompassing mood of the entire endeavor. Okay, what can I do to help? Buy me a Bay and Marine. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well I'm, I'm gonna go check to see where our wind's at, and because if I can sail us to at least the entrance, then we can side tie the dinghy. Yeah, we'll dinghy in and shit. But yeah, yeah I'll, I'll keep dicking around here. Like it's so frustrating because like it's such a simple problem, and I'm like, like this far away from making it work, but it just doesn't want to fucking. Yeah. You see what I'm talking about here, though. I don't, but... I don't know why this thing... Oh! Hold on! What? what? Hold on, I got it. You did? I think. Hold on, shut up. Don't move. Nobody talk. <laughs> You'll scare it. Ah, oh, fuck you. Just get on there, you motherfucker. This is a sweaty mess. Trigger displaced aggression occurs when a person has anger towards something that he or she cannot express for fear of consequences. And then later, a mild trigger of annoyance or irritation causes the person to explode with anger. And these fucking zip ties everywhere are just tearing me apart. Rage! Fucking rage! That's bullshit! Who the hell installed them all sticking out? For future fucking boat owners, don't put these things everywhere. Just turn them around. Just do, do one of these numbers. Because you, you end up tearing some poor guy up. That's not nice. Some guy trying to fix your boat. That's what you fucking do to them? It's fucking rude. Fuck me. Alright, come here. Everyone's coming off. We're all, everyone out of the car. Okay, I'm gonna go check the wind. I'll, I'll check back with you after. Yeah, there's no wind out there. Okay, alright. Just so we're all clear. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's where the wind is. Okay. I did check the weather or wind. There is wind to sail, but you're telling me not to sail. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Let's, let's work this out. So I got the fuel pump back to being aligned. And so now um, we're on to if I can get this fuel filter to attach to this, I can rebolt bolt the pump back on, rebolt the filter back on, rebolt all the fucking lines back on, bolt the fuel line that was the original problem back on, bleed everything, and I think we're pretty much there. <laughs> oh, everything seems dry. That's good. What? No, 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 no. What? 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 Excuse me. This guy's spraying shit everywhere. Which guy? This fuel line right here. Yeah, okay, I gotta tear all the shit apart, so we should probably get going. I'm a little nervous because I guess if we can't get into their dock, like it's three hours away. Yes. The winds are supposed to really pick up here in the afternoon. Yes. So, one, if the winds are seven knots right now, so if we don't go very fast and we get stuck out, mm -hmm. When it's super windy, like there's no place to anchor. There How windy are we all. talking? Well, I don't. According to wind alert, it was like there's a there's basically like a front kind of moving through. Okay. Nerve wracking for me is like if we if we get stuck out, uh -huh. there's no entrance except for this one that we are to the inside for protection. Yes. I understand that. 
I don't have a good answer. Um, I mean, we don't have a lot of food. Or what can we eat? Food is low. I can. I mean, I could make some. I could grill some shit before we leave. I have a couple potatoes and an onion. I grill that up. Okay, so you can grill that. I mean, what I'm what I'm saying is, if we were to go into this cut, oh, instead of go to their, we'd have to do the same. Like, I mean, I, I know we're not a huge fan of this, but we're gonna have to do the same grilled rice option. I mean, that's fine, but which I'm, is low. Yeah. I mean, the dock would be ideal. I know, but don't you get my concern? No, I understand your concern. I'm discussing with you. I, do you want to go up? I'll go up. I'm just saying that... Well, I'm just worried that... Uh, I don't know. Ugh. Okay, so currently... We're right here. No, right here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're right here. And uh -huh. this is the ocean, okay? So, to go down to them, we've got to go down here and then end up right here. Which seems all fine and good until you look outside and it's just like cloudy and squally. I don't know if that's gonna... Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Looks like shit. So my concern is that if we get stuck out, we can't sail back to where we are. And if we sail... If it gets really nasty, like sailing down, I mean, we're on, a, we're on the lee shore. Or we're on the windward shore. Like if we get pushed, yeah. we're getting pushed into land. I was making sure you had the right one. I think, I think you're correct. <laughs> I said both, so... <laughs> Right. Cover your bases. Okay, so new plan. New plan is this. Okay, there's a Broad Creek entrance into the channel here. Uh -huh. So we sail in through here, side tie the dinghy just in case the wind dies when we go in, in between these islands. Then we sail down here, a little bit technical, but it'll be fine. And then anchor in Blackwater Sound, and ho that's like across from them. So hopefully then they could like come get we us. Could, we can even like land the dinghy on. I one of us can just go. Sure. They can pick us up and then they can get yeah. groceries. Yeah. Well, we could do as a side. We could send you. I can stay here and be frustrated with the motor and work on getting the fuel pump, old fuel pump, back yeah, in. Right. Okay. That seems like a, that's okay. I think we got it. Old hard ground, Brina. How you feeling? Uh, not great. This is a very narrow, narrow channel. I think it's going fantastic. You ain't been around. You ain't ran aground. Do you see him? No, you. I thought I heard him. Woo! The stowaways made it. The what? The stowaways. No rest. No, no. I've been down so long that my mind can't get no rest. No, no. This is gonna be so weird. This ain't easy, darling. Cause the devil's on my 